Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we're back again with some more Sons of the Forest. So, I feel like it's time we play around with the golf cart. And we can see what we can do with it. As you can see, I'm in my little creative world again. Um, I'm going to spawn one in. And I've got some plans I'm going to do. I want to drive it up the mountain. That one up there. I'm going to build a ramp. I'm going to see if I can bomb it off a ramp and see what it does when you land in water and stuff. Okay, so let's add one into the game. So, you would go add prefab. Golf cart. Boom. There we go. Add prefab golf cart. Obviously, you can put numbers at the end of that. If I want to add prefab golf cart and say do 10 of them, like so, you end up with 10 golf carts. <laughs> Woo, look at that. <laughs> it's a bit glitchy, but it's fine. Should we get ourselves a little, uh, get ourselves a little trophy? Why not? Why the hell not? Come here, turtle. Turtle head trophy. Nice. Right. Let's jump in this. Let's see what we can do. There's a cannibal camp around it. Oh, some fat dudes. I want to change the key bindings, but I can't. It won't let me. Let's, uh... Okay, so it, it really doesn't do anything for the fat dudes. They just hit you. All right, fair dudes. Fair dudes. What about if I get a run up? This couldn't have worked out any better. Come here, chubby. Oh, oh, I missed him. Oh, I am so stuck right now. Nah, right. Let's go find a camp. I'm not running over the fat dudes. It doesn't work. Here we go. <laughs> Screw you, finger dude. Ah, hit and run. Hit and run. Bloody reverse over him. Double tap that bitch. Get here. Oh, I love these golf carts. They're so good. They are so good. Puffy. Oh. I obliterated him. Oh, I missed him. No, don't go off the edge. Whoa. I tell you what, the braking on this thing is amazing. Like, I'm stuck now, aren't I? Yeah, I'm stuck. Let's see if we can give it a push. There we go. Get our asses back in it. No, don't roll away. Don't roll away without me, mate. Come back. There we go. So it does work. You can run things over. It does damage them, but I don't know how much damage it actually does. I don't know because I'm not doing it at full speed either. So it's kind of a... Well, it's killed one. Let's see if we can get this one. Nah. Well, I mean, it's all right, isn't it? It's not the best. Right, let's make our way over to the uh, the mountain area. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> this looks like it's uh, this, this looks like it's high enough, doesn't it? I feel like I kind of want to build a ramp of some sort down there, and then I can just drive straight off the edge in my golf cart. First of all, I want to see what it's like just driving off the edge. There we go. Like magic, we have a golf cart. Was it like driving in the snow, though? That's the thing. Looks pretty cool. Kind of like it. Right, here we go. Driving off the edge of a cliff. Test number one. Let's not go too far back. Here we go. Literally just drive straight down the mountain. Oh, my God. It's hard to control. Ah, it's uh, spitting out. Don't spit out. It's hard to control. Ah, that was kind of sucked a little bit. I was hoping I'd get a little bit more oomph behind it. Can I drive up the mountain? Uh, you can indeed. Interesting. Wow, I mean, this thing's like a... This is better than most Jeeps. I am literally driving straight up the side of the mountain right now. Like... <laughs> I'm not even entirely sure you can run up that part. But I just drove up it. I just found out there's a boost as well. So his left shift is boost button. Love to be able to change the keys because I'm left-handed. I need to... Ch oh, no, no. Don't fall down the mountain. Love to be able to change keys left-handed. So I'd like to use the direction arrow keys. But apparently not. Let's get up to the top. Right. I've been trying to build a ramp in the side of the cliff. Uh, it's not going to work. 
it's basically impossible to get it attached to it. It's just uh, glitching out the wood and it's disappearing. So that's the best I've got so far. I've got a feeling it's not really going to jump, though. I've got a feeling that what it's going to do is it's just going to hit it, fall off the edge and just fall. It's not, it's not even going to go anywhere. But, oh, my God, I've got to hit the bloody thing first, didn't I? Let's get a run up. It's a frigging stone in the way. I would build it in the most stupid location. Here we go. Nah, it's going to be crap, innit? They never, like, you can't jump things like that. I can't. It just doesn't work. I'll make it a bit bigger. Or maybe a little bit less steep and see what happens. And not right in front of a stone. Right, here we go. Round two. And we're off. Come on, keep straight. Ah, it sucks. Although, I kind of made it. There's the, there's the other one. All right, no, the jump doesn't work, does it? Let's face it. You can't jump cars. Oh, I am very interested to see what it does when it hits water from a height, though, because these are... Uh, they float. So, what I want to know is... What's that? There's a bloody helmet on the floor. What I want to know is, can you bounce it off the water like you did the uh, the logs? Let's go find ourselves a nice lake, shall we? Right, test number three. What happens when you drive it into a lake? Nothing. You just fall off it. <laughs> wow. Come on, guys. There's got to be something we can do with this to have a bit of fun with. Come on. There's got to be something we can do. Let's see if I can jump on it. Uh, oh, you can use it as a boat. Oh, no, no, you cannot. God damn it. Right, sorry. It. Let's just do some drive-bys with it then. Come on in. Why are there mutants in every cannibal camp so far? <laughs> every camp I've come across, it's just full of bloody mutants. I want cannibals to run over. Not mutants. I tell you what, we'll go to the old. Uh, we'll go to the airfield. It's nice and flat there. We'll find some cannibals there. I'm sure we will. All right, I don't know about you guys. But steering in this seems to be real dodgy. Like if I just go forward, it just rears off to the right. Obviously now it's going to because I'm driving over rocks. But I find myself constantly rearing off to the right, which is. A little bit annoying. Watch. See? Off he goes. <laughs> oh well. Maybe it's because I'm driving on sand. I don't know. I'm just glad we've got a car, to be honest. Even if it is a golf one. I'm going to go along the beach. I'm going to see if I can find that cannibal camp. Uh, we'll have some fun with him. <laughs> Alright. I changed my mind. I'm taking it into hell. I'm going to take... We're going to go golf karting in hell. <laughs> I'm in the bunker. Oh, that's lagging so bad. Oh, let's see what this bad boy can do down here. Oh, here we go. Can I even get through the door with this? I don't even think I can. I am st so stuck. Oh, where is it? It's down there, isn't it? Right. It's going to... I'll do it. I remember when I was playing uh, Warzone, I got a quad all the way up one of the skyscrapers. And I ran everybody over that was coming up the lift. It was great. It took me forever, but I did it. I've got patience. I'm going to do this. My God, it's just too big. It's just too big for the door. Can't. Battery's running out on it as well. Right, see if we can get out. Whoa. And see if we can push it in. Come on. Go. Push, push, push. Ah, oh, crap. I think I've got it stuck. Can I? Ah, oh, come on. That means I'm not even going to be able to get in. I'm going to have to lob a grenade at it. Here we go. Oh, man. That's not even going to move it. I can't get the car out. Oh, come on. Mate, that's proper wedged in. I can't... I can't even get in there. Oh, it's moving. All right. Well, I'm going to take 20 minutes and see if I can get this out of here. Oh, that was a squeeze. All right, well, that happened. I'm going to do that again. You can't get the cars through the doors. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to run towards the uh, the Hell Cave then. And uh, I'll spawn one in when we get there. 
Right, I'm in the Hell Cave. I just want to see if I can get into a bigger area where I can actually put one down without getting stuck. Which should be further down here, I think. Here we go. Let's see if we can get our night viz on. Now that we can see. I really don't like the night viz, but we can't use our light in the car. It won't work, so I think this is going to be the only way. Here we go. Golf cart in hell. I'm going to have to take the night viz off. I can't see. I'll take it off for a minute. I can't. Right, I can't see anything with that on. Here we go. Golf cart through hell. Oh my god, it's not very smooth, I'm afraid. I thought driving through hell would be a lot easier. Come on. Golf cart and lava. Golf cart and lava burns. Who would have thought? I can't even get out. Jesus. I thought this would be more fun. All of my ideas with the golf cart are going downhill real quick. It's not amazing, but... It's, I've already started recording, so we're sticking to it. And I'm stubborn. I wonder if we could take it to the end cave with us. Like, maybe not that one, because it sucks. We can't get down the small areas, but... I wonder if we can run over the big boss with it. Right. We're in the end cave. I think I'm going to... I'm stuck on a stone. I'm going to be the only person, as I, as I know, to defeat the end boss with a golf cart. That's my mission now. My first mission was to make a ramp to jump, but it doesn't jump, just falls off the end, which is a shame. Uh, my next one was to randomly annihilate cannibal camps, but they all seem to have mutants in it, so that didn't work. Now I'm going to run over the boss, because why the hell not? <laughs> this is actually quite fun. How many people can say they've driven through hell in a car? None. Not even a car. Bloody golf cart. Right, he's got to be down here somewhere. I know he is. I'm going to uh, gradually edge forward till I find him. I hear a lot of shooting. I don't know. Oh, son of a bitch. What, what's he done to me car? No, get off my car. I've just driven down to hell. Don't attack me. What's all that noise? Friggin' demon. Oh my god. Who's down there shooting him? Is that little Tommy? Timmy, Tommy. Hello, mate. Boom. <laughs> Straight through him. No, I'm stuck in the lava. I need a new car. I need a new car. Hold on. Got one. Right. Where is he? He's on the bloody roof, isn't he? Come on, mate. Don't be scared. I'm just, just a golf cart. Are you coming? Where'd he go? Oh, he won't come down because I'm in the golf cart. Right, okay, let's do this. What? He smashed me out of the golf cart. Oh, that seems about right, doesn't it? Now it's rolling off. Sod off, you big jerk. Let me get in my car. I've come down here to run you over. And that's what I'm going to do. He's on the roof again, isn't he? My God, this is going to take some time, I think. Ah, here we go. Get a good run up. Come on. Ah, he jumped me. Come on, dude. Push me off the rocks. Oh, my days. Well, that plan's not going to go down very well either, is it? My idea of being the first person to run over the frigging demon boss. I mean, technically, I ran him over, but I just can't get in the car. He just keeps knocking me out of it, which is annoying. Wouldn't imagine that would be a thing. Right. But he's on the bloody roof again, isn't he? Come on, you jerk. Here he comes. Get in the car. Drive him over. Run him over. There we go. Nah, it's not going to work. Not going to work. You can't run over the end boss. Oh, well. I gave it a go, didn't I? All right. Back outside with the car. Running over the demons didn't kind of work. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the large demon just kind of smashes you out of your car. Something is going to go right this episode. I swear. I swear. It's going to work. I'm going to mow down all these scum. I bet there's no one there. You watch. I'll get there and there's going to be nobody. Hey, cannibals. Hello, guys. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Mow them down. No, I missed everybody. Don't worry. That was just the first, first run through. I'll come back around. 
Yeah, boom. Ultimate weapon. Did they patch it and lower the damage? Because he's still got his legs attached. I'm not having that. Oh, it's just obliterated the fat guy. His legs are on the floor. Both his legs. Jesus Christ, he's crawling off with no legs on him. Look. Oh. Oh, my God. Really took his leg off. Look at the state of that. Mate, I'm so sorry. I'm really not. Nah, he's dead. Right, let's get back in it. Let's carry on going. Cue the running over cannibal music. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I had some air time on that bad boy. <laughs> Oh, this is great. You can run, mate, but you can't hide. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you and your entire family. That's right. Keep running. You might make it. You might. I'm crap at driving. I might miss you. Never mind. See you later, love. Yeah, I ran your missus over. What are you going to do? Ooh. That's it. I don't think there's anyone left. I think I've done them all. I oh, know, there's a sneaky one over here trying to get away. Come here, mate. Perfect. Both legs on this guy. Jesus. I think that's it. We've had some fun, haven't we? One left. I'll tell you what, I'll just uh, special treatment this guy. There we go. Not quite what I was going for this episode, but it's uh, it's something I'm willing to take. So yeah, bit of a mess around with the golf cart. I kind of like it. It's really good. It's got its limitations. You can't run over the boss of it because he smashes you out of it. You can't do massive jumps because you just fall off the end. And it floats, but you can't ride it through the water. Uh, other than that, I love the golf cart. Although it is running out of batteries and it has a solar panel on the top. So I don't know why it's kind of running out of batteries. Bit weird. Just realised you can put a log through your golf cart. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but I just did it anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this one here. I think it's been a bit of a mess around episode, I suppose. Just testing out what we could do with the golf cart. Uh, we can't really do much, but we can drive up mountains. It's better than any Range Rover I've ever seen. So yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.